One of my all-time favorite RPG series is The Elder Scrolls, so when I heard that Bethesda's Pete Hines was in town, I just had to catch up with him for a chat. Well, hello, Pete. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. One thing that I would say is quite common with uh, Bethesda games is that there's often a lot of freedom and player choice and, and that kind of thing, and consequence of action. Mm -hmm. um, why, do you, why do you think we don't see more of that in games in general? I think it's something that, um, that you're starting to see creep into more and more games. When we first put Morrowind out on the Xbox, I remember a lot of people saying, that's never gonna work on the Xbox because console gamers don't get that kind of game. Like, that's not what they're, used to, that's a PC title. And we felt like, you know what, cool is cool and good is good, and if it's a good game, it'll find an audience. I think that was a big watershed moment for Bethesda in realizing that there are different types of gamers on every platform. Speak freely, friend. And I think you've seen the industry over the years continue to evolve its thinking, you know, whether it's a game like the, the Walking Dead stuff that Telltale did and sort of tracking your choices along the way and, and even telling you how your choice is compared to other people. I reckon you didn't do it then. It's not just your story that I'm playing, but it's the one that I'm telling by what it is I do in the game. I think that's what people love about Skyrim and Fallout 3. And um, yeah, we, we love to continue to try and inject those things into, into our games. Well, let's talk about The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, what prompted the decision to take this, uh, this universe into the MMO space? You know, in all the time I've worked on The Elder Scrolls series, the number one most requested thing was always, this is great, but I, I'd love to be able to play with my friends. And the difficult part is really that things that you have come to take for granted in a game like Skyrim or Oblivion just aren't possible. In, a, in an online game where you're not gonna be able to interact with every object in the world. If you have everybody in the game interacting with every object in the world, it's just chaos, like wheels of cheese rolling down hills by the thousands and um, breaking the game. So we had to sort of figure out the balance of making it interactive enough that it felt like an Elder Scrolls game, but still allowing for what MMOs can or can't have until when you have thousands and thousands of people playing together at the same time. And what's your reaction to when games like Skyrim become so embedded in our culture with memes like Arrow to the Knee and the Fusra Da being so popular? Um, it's pretty it's pretty amazing to be a part of. To see that many people um, talking about it, um, to see it showing up on TV talk shows and people recording new songs as uh, homages and it's in comics and all these places, it's um, it's a little surreal. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Makes me proud when I see lots of people talking about it. I mean, ultimately it's a testament to the game and how good the game is and how much people have enjoyed it. To see where Bethesda was when I started in 99, where it was a small group of folks working with Todd Howard on, on Morrowind in its infancy, and you know, we had just put out a bowling game, and we had a drag racing game, and a few other things. We were heavily PC focused, didn't have anything on the console. Um, I was the only PR marketing person there, so I was um, technically the director of myself. Um, and to go from that, to where we are now. It is something that I actually try and find time to stop and reflect back on. It's been an unbelievable amount of work, um, but it's a group of people that I love working with. I love what we what we do and what we stand for, and um, you know, I still really look forward to coming to work every day, and that's, um, that's pretty cool after this much time at one place. 